what's this like? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a good chance for uh, our players to, to interact with our fans and be a part of the community. And um, it, it's, it's always a lot of fun. You know, we wish we had more time that we could spend and, you know, do autographs for everybody. Uh, but our turnout is huge and we're very, uh, we're very thankful to our fans for all the support. And this is a very fun day for us. What was the ride in like? Uh, it's fun. It's, uh, you know, a good chance for our guys to experience uh, downtown Toronto, jump on the subway, and, um, you know, it's a good change of pace for us in the middle of a long season. Do you have any favorite uh, outdoor memories growing up? Uh, not really. They've all come playing for this team, you know, having the chance to play in outdoor games, uh, have outdoor practices within the community, get the fans out. Uh, so that's been the highlight for me in terms of playing hockey outside. How much fun is it to actually do this again? I mean, a couple of yeah. years you guys couldn't do yeah. it. You had the shortened schedule, the pandemic, all that other stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's a good chance to... Uh, Again, it's just a change of pace during a long season, and you know we get to come out and have a scrimmage, play three on three, whatever it is. We get to enjoy it and have fun, be a part of the community, like I said. And uh, obviously, it's a beautiful rink in itself. And so, if you're able to, to you know, just take a step back and enjoy it for that, um, you know, it's great. Did you get a practice in the shades? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if they fit under the helmet well, but I mean, waking up today was pretty sunny out here. It's a beautiful day, and it's always fun to come out and do this. Yeah, what is your favorite part, I guess, of this outdoor practice? Uh, I mean, just the love and um, you get from this fan base. Uh, you know it's everywhere, you know you really appreciate it. So um, it's great to see everyone out here today. Regardless of whatever the weather is, you always get the same amount of fans, if not more, so it's a lot of fun. What was the ride in like? Uh, yeah, it's great. So it's always fun taking that subway. Um, you know, a lot of fans on that subway as well, so something you always enjoy. Some surprise looks, maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe a couple. Um, I mean, I think that's the best part, walking through the mall, too. A lot of people aren't really expecting it, so it's, it's, it's kind of cool. How much does an event like this break up the monotony of the season? You guys have a lot of days between the next game just to be able to kind of do something different. Yeah, man, like I said, it's a lot of fun to come out here. Um, you know, this is really the heart of downtown, pretty much, so um, it's cool to come out, be able to skate on this ice, um, and it's always cool to have these fans be able to watch it. Mitch, what's the legs feel like when you played 28 minutes last night, coming into today? Oh, they still feel good, man. Um, you know, you want to be able to play big minutes and help your team win. Obviously, it wasn't enough, but, um, you know, you feel good. You feel excited to be out here. Thanks, Mitch. Can you talk about why that's important to you personally? I mean, I grew up here. Um, you know, now playing here, I've been loved uh, by so many. So, for me, it's always just try to give back as much as you can and um, try to make a difference in the world. Slow start for Team Ontario, but you guys get it done. Yeah. What was it like out there? It's a lot of fun. Obviously, beautiful day. Uh, you know, the, the support from the fan base, obviously incredible. So, uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. Uh, good way to, uh, uh, you know, start to turn the page from last night and, and uh, for us just to go out there and enjoy, connect with our fan base and the community. Um, this one's always a lot of fun. After what, what you, the whole world's gone through the past two or three years, to be able to hold events like this again, what's that mean? Yeah, it's uh, fantastic. I think, uh, you know, throughout uh, a lot of time uh, at home and being away from one another, um, you know, the fan base obviously, you know, makes uh, what this, you know, makes this organization obviously great. It's a tremendous fan base. Leafs Nation, uh, obviously, uh, this city, but uh, even goes further than that. So, uh, you know, these events, you're really able to connect with the community and the fan base and um, share the love and support that they give us back to them. Given it was great. It was great. It was a little quieter Sunday morning, so it was a little quieter. Given where we are, can you envision maybe coming back here in four months for a celebration? How much have you dreamed about that? Absolutely. You think about that all the time. So, uh, you know, obviously a lot of work ahead, one day at a time, and continuing uh, our growth as a group and, and figuring out the areas we got to be better and challenging each other. But certainly um, that's what we're working towards. And uh, um, no doubt uh, from time to time those, uh, those thoughts uh, come across your mind. But uh, like I said, just try to stay in the moment and, and, and obviously – that's what we're working for. Hard to read Mitch's eyes with the shades on. Uh, well, it's right up his style. So, um, you know, it was pretty bright out there today. The glare was heavy. So, uh, you know, he made the right play, which is uh, not surprising. John and John said today's a good way to turn the page on last night. What does a day like this do for the team? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's always nice. Everything's nice for the day after a win. But uh, if you're going to come in after a loss like last night, this is a good way to do it. Beautiful day, unbelievable turnout. Uh, second time for me doing this event, uh, and you've kind of forgotten just how cool it is. And it's a great opportunity for the, for us to interact with the fans as well. But to, just to, to see and feel the love is is awesome. Given where we are, do you think about maybe four months from now or whenever having a bigger celebration here? Well, we think we think about that 
a lot, you know. Um, but certainly, I, I think the biggest thing is you just get a, an even greater feel. It's a different feeling than when you're playing in the arena, of course. But um, when you're out here and you can see the people coming out like this, uh, you can see how much they care. And you know what? You know, you're playing for not just yourselves, but, uh, you know, Leaf Nation as well. So it's a terrific uh, event to be able to connect with our fans in this way. I think the players as well have a lot of fun with it, playing outdoors on a beautiful day like this. Uh, we weren't sure how the ice was going to cooperate, but it, it, it worked out, and I think the guys uh, made the best of it. What was the commute like? Cool. You know, it was great. It was easy. You know, uh, real easy. It was, it was uh, nice to be with the folks, uh, you know, and, and different. It's unique, um, but cool in and of itself. It's a great way to move about the city, as we all know, and, and uh, you know, to, to do it for practice and have the guys in full gear and such is pretty cool, especially to see how uh, people re react, especially those that weren't expecting it. How do you describe the interactions you have with the fans of this city when you're out and about, you know? And is there anyone that has stuck out to you at all? Uh, n nothing in particular that's stuck out. The only thing that stands out is just uh, how passionate people are and how res respectful and appreciative people are, frankly, and positive about our team. Um, everyone's excited. It's, you know, I, I get that everywhere I go. I have, have never had a negative uh, re interaction with, a, with anyone outside of work and, and being about the city, and I'm in arenas a lot with my own kids. Uh, you, you really you feel the love, and once again, like I said, you're, for me in, individually, when I come to work every day, I know that I'm not coming to work just for myself, and I'm a representative of, of Leafs Nation, and, and I've got a great job to do, great responsibility. I don't take it lightly for a second, uh, but yeah, the, the interactions I have with people are, are incredibly respectful and positive, and I, of course, I'm appreciative of that.